So how we can fulfill orders into CJ Dropshipping? I'm going to show you how to do this for Shopify dropshippers uh, out there. So to get started here, I needed to have an actual store of Shopify and having the actual CJ dropshipping element added. If you don't have this added, you don't have to worry about that. Let's do this process step by step. Now, first of all, I'm going to focus now into access my Shopify administrator. Inside my Shopify administrator, I'm going to focus inside the navigation of my orders. Now, inside my orders, I can click into the left hand side bar and review unfulfilled orders. So to fulfill orders, what you can do is to create an unfulfilled order. So what we do here is to make sure has unfulfilled orders. So if I choose one of my orders that you wish to fulfill from the list of the unfulfilled orders, if you go here, I select this element and here's the order we need to fulfill for the list of unfulfilled orders. So to fulfill this, what you can do is to, of course, go for the option that says check order status in CJ dropshipping. So I choose this option and this one automatically should be sending me into the CJ dropshipping. Now, once again, if you don't have the CJ dropshipping, I'm going to go focused inside applications, inside apps. Let's go and look out for Shopify and choose the option that says search Shopify in app store. In here into the app store, what you can do is to look out for the CJ dropshipping application. So for that, what I need to do now is to just type the word CJ dropshipping inside here. I'm going to type CJ and check out how we can see that there's a lot of application where you can just get started. In this case, you want to focus only into CJ dropshipping. So just select those elements and hit now into install and create an actual account. In this case, um, this process has now been successfully done, so we don't have to do this anymore. So what I need to do now is to sign into my CJ dropshipping account. So let's get back directly into the cjdropshipping.com element. Here, what you can do is to go for the option that says sign in. And now I need to locate the order I wanted to fulfill within the application interface. So follow the prompts to process the order. You can see here in the lip how we have the store orders. Now here in the store orders, you should see that we now have this product from Shopify, which in this case is the complete snowboard. And here is the unfulfilled section. So you can go back here into my store details. And here you should see the here appears your orders appear into that. What you can do now is to follow the prompts to process the order, including the selecting product shipping details and confirming the shipment. Now, in this case, we have nothing available yet, but here what you can do to check out the waiting and payment, the awaiting dispatch, the dispatch completed, closed and canceled. Even what you can do is that you can out of a failed orders directly inside here. So sync to the store orders, I choose my store. It's going to be really important to choose the code of the store that appears here. In this case is 7DE94. So I select here 7DE94, sync it by the title and go for synced now. Now, if this already tracked the shipment status, so what you can do now is to obtain the tracking number provided by the CJ drop shipping. So this code, of course, it's not appearing in here, but here what you can see is to check out the tracking element. And what you can do now is to provide this tracking number uh, to notify the customer of their order shipment status using the Shopify automated notification system. So of course, this has now been precisely done automatically. And then what you can do is to confirm the fulfillment into Shopify. So confirm the order fulfillment inside of Shopify once you have done this process by just going in here into more actions and of course, view the order status page. As you can see into this order status page, we should see that it has uh, unfulfilled it yet. So I'm going to go back. I go for back once again. I select my unfulfillment status and I achieve this order. Since this order has now been refunded, there is no way that how we can unfulfill this. So in this case, I have, let's say, for example, staff error. So staff not going to go for cancel my order. I had backed and the unfulfillment has not been successfully added. Usually it should be appearing to your order now appearing as fulfilled. Inside fulfilled, you can see that here have an actual code. This code can provide this to the customer. And as you can see here, it says the subtotal, the shipping, the taxes, total, and everything is paid. So what I need to do now is to focus into 
my customer and then later on what I can do is to add more information about their actual uh, order so in this case we have now done this process in a very easy way and send it back into the dropshipping order so this fulfillment should be done automatically and you don't have to focus into anything else but just rather than just the client directly here into Shopify so guys, with that being said, we have now reached the very end of the video. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more amazing tools how to get started fulfillment orders inside of Shopify. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully, we can all see you on a brand new next video of TaxPrice.